Hi, this is Adam with Small Down Machine Shop. Today I'm going to give you a few little tips if you're working on a drum switch and the identification thing's missing so you don't know where things go. It's very common on older drum switches for the inside label to be missing. I mean, I can read this one, but sometimes they used to come with just a piece of paper. So all you need to do if you have a drum switch and you're trying to wire it, get yourself a multimeter has a continuity function. If you look like that, when you touch the probes together, it makes a beeping noise. Okay. Here's some typical drum switch you'll come across. I got one of the, I do a lot of drum switch wiring help for people and people love these switches because they're dirt cheap on like Amazon and stuff. I, I hate them. I like old metal bodied ones and stuff like that. We'll go with this one. This one has no labels whatsoever. It's just numbered inside. So, typically what I would do, let me get these just for clarity's sake. And it had some jumpers in it. It's gonna be a very basic thing for uh, people. So, we'll take out jumpers and stuff like that. Okay, the switch in the middle position on most drum switches, there'll be no continuity amongst any terminals. So what you want to do, if you're a visual person, and having a diagram instead of a bunch of numbers side by side will really help. Here, inside the switch, it's numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm doing the same here. Poke, the, poke a hole for each one. Switch left, switch right. Okay, and remember which way the switch is switched. Okay, so now all you need to do, with that set on continuity, I always do it that, so switch to the left. Stick one, and number one. So just go around. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 continuity. So we know one and eight have continuity. What you do, a short piece of wire, and I like to use, use different colored wire too. That'll help you uh, visualize it. So we know it's left, one and eight touch together, and we know there wasn't continuity between eight and the other ones, or else it would have showed up with one. Same thing, I go to two, and don't be alarmed if some of them don't have continuity with anything in one or another. Like there, in this position, nothing shares with two. So go to three. There we go. Five, six, seven, eight, it's there. Three and four are together. So, put a wire there. By the way, Hand Hand Pruners makes a awesome set of wire cutters for the shop. So, three and four. And judging by the, the how the wiring's going, I can already tell you. That. There'll be one more paired bond. There. Seven and six. See, it's not continuity with anything else. So we'll use a blue wire. I'm trying to make this as easy, as simple, and as visual as I can. So now we know, and this switch is facing like this, the switch to the left, there's our continuity between the switch. Okay, so now all we need to do, switch it to the right. And now you'd like to use light colored wires for the same over here. So now we're on the right, same thing, start at one, 
and now we have continuity of two. Now all these switches, you'll see, it'll just shift it one notch to another. So on this side, continuity between one and two, instead of one and eight. So one switches between two and eight. Eight will not jump her to two or anything like that. So we know one's the constant, and then it will switch between those two. The other ones are going to do the same on this particular switch. So now we'll go to let's go to four. Four should go to five now. Yes. Double check. Four. So there we go. wire and so on or now it goes to five so instead of going four three and four now it's four and five so the four is this swapping which one it's connected to I'll go ahead for sake of completeness here to make it as clear as possible so I want to do the other one's gonna be from Put in seven. Now it's going to go to eight. There we go. A blue wire. Seven and eight. Okay. So yeah, it was seven and six here. Now it's seven and eight. So I just swap those ones. And knowing that, you can know where to bring your wires in and where to land them. You can do the exact same with other switches if it doesn't have numbers. Just put one, two, three, four, five, six, and you know have it represent the switch. On these ones, it gets more complicated because, well, I mean, not really. There's just a whole bunch more terminals. These ones are numbered. A lot of them will be numbered, which will help you. And you just... Take it, flip it over, check everything, especially if it's a new switch, and there you go. Very simple. If it's this is more clear to me than putting you know one eight seven eight you know one two eight one all that down here. I can see this, and you can very clearly see the path that the uh, connections are making. So. Yeah, um, and then depending on your motor, of course, you're going to look at your motor plate and where your incoming, you know, your leads are going to go and the ones you just need to swap but don't need power, like 5 and 8 or the red and the black on a lot of motors. But that's all it takes to map out one of these drum switches. So very easy. Get yourself a sheet of uh, cardboard or anything or colored pencils on a piece of paper or anything like that and just get yourself a visual representation and it'll become so clear uh yeah so i hope you guys found that helpful again i have another video on wiring a three-phase drum switch if you guys need additional help uh, email me my email is in that one and i'll probably put it in this one i have love helping you guys out getting your machines going but yeah just hope that it's very, a lot of, the reason I'm making this video is a lot of questions I get are people that have drum switches that don't have instructions in them. And the first thing I tell, ask them if they have is a continuity tester. It doesn't have to be anything fancy or anything. Anything that will tell you continuity will do the job. So, uh, yeah. Very, a very common question. So hopefully that'll help you out. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Job. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.